And this is a grand welcome back that we are talking about the moment that the entire world has been waiting for. Let's straight across uh, uh, go to these visuals that we're getting to you. The sea of blue that you see, a jubilant Argentinian capital that is celebrating the return of the World Cup champions. Party time officially started. Uh, when it started, uh, the moment Argentina uh, made a victorious uh, finale moment uh, in Qatar as the World Cup champions. But the official party has been underway in Argentina as Lionel Messi and the World Cup winners Argentina arrive back home. The fans who have been lining up the streets, massive crowds cheering the champions return. I have with me our sports editor Digvijay Singh Bio also uh, to just tell us first of all the moment that we are looking at on our screen and the mood uh, that we gauge from here. Uh, the entire world, of course, has been waiting for this moment when the winning team returns back home and what a grand welcome they are getting. Yes, uh, just see those visuals, Molly. Uh, more than 100,000 people around the obelisk. You know, it's, it's sort of the center of Buenos Aires. That's where all the celebrations in Argentina happen. And just, just, just look at this. This is what it means for Argentina. You know, it's been 36 years since... Uh, they last won the FIFA World Cup. You know, Argentina is a football mad country. For the last 36 years, teams have been going to the FIFA World Cup and the fans that you see out there have been hoping that they emulate the likes of Mario Kempes in 1978 and the late Diego Maradona in 1986 and they return with the trophy. It's sadly not happened that way. They came very close in 1990 when, as defending champions, Maradona's team lost to West Germany, as it was known back then, in the final of Italia 1990. And then in 2014 in Brazil, at the home of their great rival, Brazil, at the Maracana, they went down in extra time to Germany. But in, in Qatar, it was all about Lionel Messi, his final World Cup. The last time he was going to a World Cup, the fifth time that he was going, and what a performance. This has been Lionel Messi's World Cup as, as it's being written all over the world. He scored in every stage. He scored in the first round. Argentina lost their first match of the World Cup, a shock defeat to Saudi Arabia. It was, it was hailed as the greatest shock in the history of the FIFA World Cup. But then that team... That team regrouped, that team went on to win every match after that. There were some games which went down to the wire, including the final against France, where Argentina led 2-0, but right at the end, there was uh, Kylian Mbappe, the heir apparent to Lionel Messi's throne, who sort of inspired a tremendous comeback, and, and it went down to penalties. But ever since that moment on Sunday, the party hasn't stopped in Argentina. Earlier this morning, the team landed in Buenos Aires and even so late at night, Molly, you could just see a sea of humanity that short distance from the airport to the national team's training center. That took two or three hours. There was this great fireworks display when the team arrived. And now finally, those visuals we are seeing off on our screens, the team has left that training base and they're headed to downtown Buenos Aires. They're headed to that place where more than 100,000 fans are ready to cheer them on. This has been one memorable, memorable campaign. And, and uh, joined by a special guest at the moment from Buenos Aires, he's uh, Peter Schouten, who joined us also the day Argentina won the World Cup. Peter, how, how quickly do you think this party is coming to you? Uh, we are right now in the Plaza de Mayo. This is the main square in the Argentinian capital, Buenos Aires, behind me. You can see Casa Rosana, that is the presidential palace where the pre actual president Alberto Fernandez is working. He's not there at the moment. But here, thousands of people are gathering together to celebrate the victory, the World Champions victory of their national squad. Last night at 3 o'clock in the morning, more or less, they arrived at Ezeiza here at the airport, uh, so 25 kilometers from here. They went to the National Soccer League to stay there for a few hours, and after that, they are now approaching the city of Buenos Aires, capital Argentina. Okay, Peter, can you just tell us uh, what is expected? Because since last night, we've been seeing the sea of humanity, first at the airport, along that route till the, till the national team's training base. We've seen pictures from the obelisk where you were there before. 
and, and we're seeing yeah. these pictures now as the team makes its way. So what's the sort of program? How are the celebrations planned? That's the main question here in Argentina. Argentinians love to do things at last minute. So we still don't know if the squad, the national team, will come over there at the balcony or if they come to the Obelisco. It's still not clear at this time. They are approaching the city. What we know, this will be a big, big, big party, but the route they will take, it's unclear yet. They don't know. So it's 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 hard for me as well to, to work as correspondent sometimes since the, the information is changing all the time. They are building a, a scene for, for press, so they expect something for press. They're, clean, uh, they're cleaning the balconies, where once Evita stood one long, long time ago. But now the people are leaving again. I don't know where to. So it's a big mystery what will happen now. But one, one thing is sure, there will be a big, big mass party with millions, millions of people. Just, just talk us to the scenes where you are, because, uh, you know, you said that the presidential palace is behind you, but I can see a lot of uh, white and blue shirts over there as well. So what's it? Is it a spontaneous party? Are people enjoying their, their drinks uh, in, the, in the afternoon sun yeah. or lots of dancing? Just, just give us a mood of what's going on there. Oh, many, 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 many beers I've seen already. It's uh, 12 o'clock in the morning so it's it's early yet still uh, it's hot it's 25 27 degrees so people are drinking a lot drinking a lot of beer drinking a lot of water people are shouting are cheering are, are singing they're so happy they're so satisfied with this winning this world cup but as i said this is argentina so the information is not going that well so far so it can change that we that will do it here or i said at the obelisco but at least people are very very happy drinking alone i have to say but it will be a big, big, big party. Right, uh, Peter, this party, of course, started the moment Argentina lifted the cup uh, in Qatar. Uh, and this is going to be a continuing party. Just give us a sense of what the next few days will be looking like uh, for the Argentine capital. It will be, but well, I think the, the biggest moment is today, when, it's, when, the, when the, the, the national squad is entering the city right now. So everybody wants to have a glimpse of them to see Messi handing up the World Cup. It's a national holiday today. Alberto Fernandez, the Argentinian president, last night, very late, he decided that it's a national holiday. There was a lot of objection as well during the whole country because it's like a political game they're playing right now. But today's a national holiday. Tomorrow, everybody has to work again. But I don't know if that will happen. I think the... The, the party will go on for, for many for many days, that's for sure. But Peter, how's it been in the last sort of 48 hours since they won that World Cup? Because I remember you were you were there joining us the moment they won and impromptu celebrations sort of broke out. But how's that been? How was that night? How What's happened on Monday? Sort of have Argentines yeah. turned up to office bleary-eyed or have they been given the day off? The bosses have excused them if they haven't turned up. So just give us a sense of what's happened in the last 48 hours in Argentina. After their last penalty on Sunday, the city, the country, the world exploded. One, two million people gathered, as you have seen on Sunday, at the uh, Nueva de Julio. That's the widest street in the world. After that, throughout the whole country, from Ushuaia in the south, up to 4,000 kilometers in the north, to Salta, it was one, one big party. Everywhere, everything was blue and white, celebrating this World Cup. On Monday, I think everybody was in his bed, because I went out uh, early, on Monday, 10 o'clock in the morning, and it was still very quiet. The city normally is like one million of cars and, and buses and, and sub, subway, everything, many people going to the work. But yesterday, on Monday, were empty streets. On Sunday night, the festival, the, the parties went till 6, 7 in the morning. The police had to send the people at home because it becomes a little bit of, um, of tensing. Uh, there were some riots, some, 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 um, they broke down some things. And let's see what happened today. So far, to, until now, it's one big party. So let's hope that it will stay calm and people respect, uh, um, behave respectfully. But how do Argentines party and how do they party when they won a World Cup after 36 years? you got to tell tell that to us. I have never seen so many tears in my life. People, young, old, poor, rich, everybody was gathering together, hugging each other, celebrating each other, giving kisses. 
shouting, crying, praising our like this. They all said, gracias, Diego. Thank you, Diego. This is also your uh, championship. Thank you. Thank you. Because Messi felt a lot of pressure, of course, uh, for winning this World Cup. So there was a lot of explosion coming from inside from the Argentinian people that after 36 years, they finally got the World Cup back here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. You know, you, you referenced the great uh, Diego Maradona, who sadly uh, passed away two years ago. And, and for, for, for generations of Argentinians, he was sort of the the dominant player, no? the man who was called the most humane of the gods, despite all the controversies that, that happened in his life and in his playing career. This World Cup win sort of elevated Messi to that pantheon of grace alongside Pele and Maradona. But how do Argentines now look at Messi? Has he finally equaled the great Diego Maradona in the hearts and in the minds of Argentines? Oh, definitely. It already started last year after winning the Copa America in Brazil, defeating Brazil, that Messi may have big status already. From that moment, you saw more T-shirts, the national T-shirts with Messi on the back instead of Maradona, which we have seen before many times. Yes, I think he finally stepped out of the shadow of Maradona and they're now two, two big, um, big national historical uh, um, persons on the same level and, um, and that's also like I feel that Messi is feeling a little less pressure now because he felt the eyes of Diego on him all the time trying to win that World Cup. We tried in 2014 when he lost his final and now finally in 2022 he won it and I think the whole country also dedicated this prize to Diego. Okay and, and sort of what has been what has been the reaction of the Argentine press, the sports writers, about Messi sort of achieving this dream of his, you know, it had been five World Cups, there was that heartbreak in 2014 as well. Was there a sense of relief or, or for Argentine, this was the culmination of one of the greatest careers world sport has seen? Of course, all the newspapers yesterday, I think 98% of the newspaper was about winning the World Cup. You can imagine that it's generated such a pleasure also with the, 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 my fellow correspondents here, my, the, 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 the other journalists. Finally, he did it. As I said, there was a lot of pressure on it and that you saw that back in the media as well. He did one, two, he, he did one Cups for Argentina, the Olympic gold in 2008 and, and the World Cup on the 20, many times a year ago. It was in my country, the Netherlands, by the way. But these are not prizes that really count for an uh, official football player. Which really counts was the Copa America and now the World Cup in 2022. So yes, the media, all the newspapers, the television, imagine it's 24 hours a day, live television now, for weeks already, from Qatar, from Buenos Aires, it's 24-7. It's all live about football. Everything will happen, every minor detail, it's like big news here. And, and talking about those details, uh, Peter, of course, we are getting in those spectacular visuals of the sea of blue, the uh, crowds, massive crowds lining up the streets of Buenos Aires. But uh, just for our viewers so that they know the kind of arrangements that are happening on the ground, uh, the security that has been in place uh, to manage these crowds, which route is this uh, uh, going to be, uh, is this uh, passage going to be taking? And uh, these crowds we're looking at, they've been lining up there for how long? They've been standing there since early hours of the morning, I believe. Now, in this case, people arrived just an hour ago when they got to know that maybe there will be a celebration here. But in Obelisco, I think last night already, people were getting together, thousands of people getting their right spot to see the bus passing by and to see the, 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 the players in the World Cup. So. There's a lot of police on the streets. You can't see it from here, I think, but there's a lot of police. There's a lot of kind of, I don't know how to say, cages maybe that took to, to stop the people uh, entering the Casa Rosada, the Prince of Palace. So there's a lot of police, a lot of security trying to prevent, to prevent any riots, etc. Right, and where you are standing, uh, the, that's of course a part of the route. And what is the rest of the route going to be looking like as far as this bus is concerned? They, they started in Ezeiza, that's the international airport, right. where already last night thousands of people were camping and then they will do a round tour of, on, on the city. It will like, I think, 40 kilometers more or less to get back in, in the international airport at the end of the day. But it will take, I just read the tour 
in total will be six, seven hours. Um, and they're still trying to find out if they can enter the open. Let's go to the National Monument because there is no space anymore for entering the bus. So they didn't clean the road so in order to, to, to let the bus pass. So that's just the big question right now. Where are they going to and where can we see them? Uh, you'll, you'll see them. They will probably be around somewhere near you. Because what I, I'm, I'm, I'm reading that it's, this parade is going to take about eight hours. But Peter, I hope you've seen these uh, pictures that were released this morning, and something Lionel Messi uh, posted on social media as well. And Molly, this this is just outstanding. This is a man who's who's 35 years old. He's got kids of his own, but this is what it meant to him. You know, sleeping with that World Cup trophy. It's it's a lifetime lifetime dream. The ambition that he had when he was growing up, he wanted to emulate. His idol, the great Diego Maradona, and after so long, you, you see the greatest sports person on the planet at the moment, like a small baby. You know, these are these great, great, great pictures. What image? These images, of course, has, have naturally gone viral. Just a sample of the enthusiasm that we are seeing uh, on the ground in the Argentine capital, of course, on social media as well. Uh, for the last 48 hours, the uh, celebrations that uh, we have seen emanating from different parts of the world as the Argentine fans have been celebrating uh, the end of this over three decade long wait. Peter has been on the ground getting us a better sense of what the mood is looking like and in one word it is a jubilant uh, day. Uh, the, uh, the celebrations of course just a sample of those uh, that are evident from these visuals that we're getting to you. Uh, these crowds as Peter was just mentioning have been camping, camping since last night just to catch a glimpse of the man of the moment Lionel Messi of course and the team of the moment as they complete uh, this 40 kilometer approximately 40 kilometer a long route as uh, these fans cheer them on and celebrate. Of course, the party has been going on for the last 48 hours and, as Peter just said, will continue. Heroes welcome for Messi and company, those visuals of that bus. The bus, uh, the most important one right now, I believe, in the world, as uh, uh, these images will continue uh, to be edged in uh, the minds of those who are watching. This is a historic moment, not just for Argentina, uh, but uh, for football lovers, uh, of course, for Messi uh, fans as well, as we just showed you those images also of Messi with the trophy. That's just an iconic picture, which will be perhaps one of the most shared images uh, of this year already. And also, Molly, you know, the, the, what this just shows is the, uh, the sort of outpouring of, of love and affection, as you were saying, but it's also about Messi truly ascending to that to that role as the greatest of all time, you know, yes. Pele, Maradona, Messi, and and, and that image and, of Maradona and uh, Messi, you know, the yes, uh, the and sort of the passing of the baton in a sense, yes, yes. which is uh, which actually gives you goosebumps when you look at that image because that, in a way, summarizes the sentiment attached to this win of the Argentine team. Uh, wow, look at those faces. Uh, you know, Messi is there. There is the Angel Di Maria who was yes. who was so brilliant in in that in that final. Uh, Peter, the players' families, not all of them would have been in, in, in Qatar and sort of for them also, this is sort of many of them were playing their first World Cups as well. Any idea of how, how those reactions have been? Yeah, for many of the players, it was the first World Cup. There were also other, some uh, more experienced players, but, but uh, if we've seen all their Instagram, their, their Twitter, they are all so proud to show the World Cup on their, on their social media channels. So no, it's also for them like once in a life experience uh, because it won't happen then often. It's the third time in, in Argentinian history. So they really appreciate this moment to celebrate this with the Argentinian people today in Buenos Aires. All right, Peter, thanks very much, I have to say, for getting us a better sense of the mood on the ground. Congratulations to you as well and uh, to every Argentine fan uh, watching at this moment. They are, of course, out in the streets just trying to catch a glimpse of uh, Lionel Messi and company as they, make, as they make their way through the streets of Argentina. What a grand homecoming it's been for the victorious team. Uh, Digvijay, I'm going to leave you with a quick summary of what we just saw, the sentiment that we witnessed. Well, I think one can safely say Argentina's biggest party in the last 36 years has just kicked off. And it will continue, as Peter said. Eight hours, at days. least eight hours. <laughs> for the next few days, easily. We're leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much once again to Peter. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.